Good day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today we are going to continue chapter 4. Um, we are now on salaries, wages, income, and benefits. What are its definitions and its computations? So let's get So as you can see, we are already in weeks 4 to 7 of the MELCs issued by DepEd, Most Essential Learning um, Competencies. And um, these are the things that we will be covering, salary, wage, income, and benefits. How, does, how is it being computed? How you would distinguish which is taxable and not? And uh, so on and so forth. So um, here are the three things that uh, we will be covering for uh, today's discussion. So to start off, what is a salary? Um, oftentimes not. Salary, wages, and benefits are being used interchangeably or ginagamit siya ng mga tao uh, papalit-palit. Sometimes they don't even know what's the definition or how to di uh, distinguish which is a salary, which is wage, and what is a benefit. So, salaries are fixed periodical payments made to persons doing or engaged in manual work office and white collar jobs so when you say white collar jobs ito yung mga trabaho that are administrative in nature office work uh, basically types of work where you do not have to exert too much physical effort okay so salaries are fixed uh, payments agreed upon by both the employer and employee so those are the things that you would have to remember when you talk of salaries uh, these are for white collar jobs these are fixed and uh, must be agreed upon by employer and employee. Kaya nga, when you um, uh, apply or uh, negotiate for a job offer, nagkakaroon dyan ng ano eh, uh, what you call this the negotiation. So, pwede ka maghagel what's your um, offer, uh, what um, salary do you expect, yeah, yung mga tinatanong ng HR. How much salary do you expect? Because this can be um, agreed upon. Pwede siyang pagkasundoan. Alright? So, later on, you will see the difference of this uh, as compared to wage. <clears throat> so, for our example here, we can actually see uh, the salaries um, of uh, government officials. Right? So, these are salaries. Uh, kasi when you work for the government, you have what you call as salary grades. Okay? So, depending on your salary grade is what you will be receiving monthly uh, as a salary or what is your compensation. So, <clears throat> basically, to compute for the salary, it's just uh, easy. Easy in the sense that you would just have to know what's your basic salary and then you would have to less the deductions. It just gets... The only thing that makes this a, a little bit tricky is that uh, the deductions vary depending on the salary grade, right? The, uh, your contributions, your deductions would depend on your salary grade. Depende sa taas ng iyong salary. Like, um, if you have a higher salary, naturally, you will have a higher withholding tax, SSS contribution, GSIS, pag and fuel health. So, we will see all of those things uh, later on in our, our examples for benefits. Now, what are the deductions, okay? So, the first and uh, most important deduction is the withholding tax. Ito yung pinag-uusapan natin. Ano? Uh, actually, tax is a very large topic on its own. But it is a constant. No? May kasabihan nga tayo na there are only two things certain in life, which is uh, debt and taxes. So, tax is really um, a given. Pag pinanganak ka, you have a birth certificate, you would have to pay for tax. When you die, you would have to... Um, get a debt cert uh, someone would have to get your debt certificate and then they would also pay for tax so mabuhay ka hanggang mamatay ka you would be deducted for tax okay <clears throat> and it is a mandatory on the gross value of an employee's salary so when you say gross it means that the value before any payroll deductions has been made so ito yung raw amount yun yung gross and then when you say net net is the amount wherein all the deductions have been taken out already. So, tatandaan ninyo yung difference between the two. 
gross, wala pang deduction, net, meron ng deduction. So, there uh, there is actually a table that will show you uh, briefly how much is the tax at a certain bracket. No? But we, just to put it simply, it, I have um, shown you um, some of the highlights uh, on what are the tax deductions and this was based from BIR. So, <clears throat> ayan. If your salary is a uh, twenty thousand eight hundred thirty-three below, you will you don't need have uh, you don't have to pay for withholding taxes. If it's above twenty-two thirty-three thousand three hundred thirty-three, uh, it's twenty percent in excess. Okay, twenty percent in excess. Thirty-three to sixty-six thousand, it's um two thousand five hundred plus twenty-five percent in excess. So basically. As the salary increases, the taxes increases as well. So this is the revised uh, tax or withholding tax table issued on December 29, 2017. So here you can see the, the deductions as what we have mentioned earlier. If it's uh, below 20,833, you don't have to be taxed. And then as the... Um, amount progresses also the tax will increase um, consequently with your um, salary okay <clears throat> so that is, that's the first one next you have what we call as salary deductions for SSS and GSIS so both of the, the terms what I have mentioned or actually bodies um, are insurances okay um, the social security system is a state-run social insurance program in the philippines to work in the private professional and informal set, uh, sectors so sss is for private while gsis is for so this was uh, established by virtue of republic act number 1161 or known as the social security act of 1954 and then uh, for GSIS, um, it's RA or Republic Act 8291. So for GSIS, um, regular members uh, share 9% of their basic salary while employees share 12% of the same. <clears throat> while for um, SSS, I'll give you an example here. Let's say Bong's salary is 19750 and above. His contribution is 2400 So how was it derived? Uh, it will be 1600 from the employer and then 800 for the employee. Kasi what happens is that the employer has to double what's your contribution. So if your contribution is 800 sa kanila, 1600 So where was this based? There is actually a an SSS contribution table that... Uh, where where in the companies base the deductions from so similar to sss there's just a bra uh, so, sorry similar to tax there's just a bracket kung so, kung saan nagfo-fall yung salary mo then dun din ibebase yung uh, deductions mo or your contributions for sss but the rule is the same whatever your contribution is your employer would have to double it so you can get this at a uh, table or contribution table from sss.gov that. So our third deduction is coming from Pag-ibig. So what is Pag-ibig? Uh, the Home Development Mutual Fund, more properly known as Pag-ibig Fund, is a Philippine government-owned and controlled corporation under the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development. So how do we know how much are we contributing for Pag-ibig? So here's an example computation for a worker with, let's say, the salary is uh, 3,000 pesos. Um, employee share is 3,000 times 2 per uh, percent is equals to 60 and then employee share is equals to 3,000 times 0 0.02 or 60. So basically, employer and employee also um, share the contribution for, <clears throat> for pag-ibig. So, monthly compensation of 1,500 below, the employee share is 1%, and then for employer is uh, 2%, 1,500 
while if your salary is over 1500 the employer share or employee share is 2% and employer share is uh, 2% as well so pagka 1500 up pareho na kayo ng hulog but if it's 1500 below 1% sa and then 2% for the employer for our fourth deductions we have what we call as field health so I'm sure all, most of you already know what field health is and field health is an insurance corporation created in 1995 to implement universal health coverage in the Philippines and it is a tax exempt government owned and controlled corporation um, so what happens or how do we contribute for field health um, employed members need to pay a monthly contribution equivalent to 2.75 percent of their monthly basic salary so whatever your salary is you would have to get 2.75 percent to determine how much is your contribution monthly premium is both shared by the employer and the employee so here are our examples on the table so if your salary is uh, 10,000 below your monthly contribution is 300 pesos uh, employee shares 150 and then the employer shares 150 for salaries ranging 10,000 to 59,999 or almost 60,000 um, your monthly contribution goes to 1,799 um, your contribution is 899 and then employer shares 899 so again split in half pa rin. And then finally, if it's 60,000 above, your monthly contribution now is 1,800. So ganun pa rin, hati pa rin. 900 from the employee and then 900 from the employer share. So here is um, information from Field Health. Uh, what is going to be their forecast of deductions uh, based from our monthly basic salary up until 2025 so there is basically an increase on in the premiums that will be deducted okay so let's go now to wages so wages are per uh, payments for manual work that are usually temporary or casual in nature like blue collar jobs so kanina we had white collar jobs those are more of office work administrative work uh, work that does not require too much physical effort while for wages, um, these are blue-collar jobs, okay? So, when you say blue-collar jobs, it could be any work that requires uh, much or more physical effort. Like, for example, um, you are in construction, mining, manufacturing, so on and so forth, okay? Wages can vary depending on hours work. So, depending kung ilang oras ang pinagtrabahuan mo. And then, wages typically don't have government mandated deduction. So, most of the time, or sometimes, walang government mandated deduction. Kasi per hour basis lang ang uh, pinag-uusapan natin when we talk of wage. So, those are the differences between wages and salary. No? So, formula for wages is just simple as well. So, you just need to know the number of hours and then multiply it by the rate per hour so let's say your rate per hour is 150 no? you work part-time and then that's your rate and then you work for four hours uh, let's say uh, whatever that work is let's say you are uh, in construction no? electrical okay so four hours ka lang nag work kasi kinabit mo lang yung mga ano eh, mga wirings and all of that and then took you four hours so your salary for that day for four hours is going to be 600 pesos walang deductions yan, ano? it's straight uh, payment no? of 600 pesos for you so what about overtime so overtime in the Philippines uh, basically follows this uh, rates okay so if it's normal work day if nagrender ka ng 1 hour o, uh, overtime, it's going to be 125%. No? It's an addition of 25%. Now, for rest day, special non-working day, regular holiday, and combinations of it, you get 130% of your hourly rate on these days. 
So, umangat siya ng 5%. Okay? And then, for night shift, it's going to be 110%. So, if you would notice, bakit parang mas mababa? Because there is another... Um, another computation which is what we call night differential night differential is entirely different um plug na nilalagay sa salary no and uh, we can discuss that some other time because um most of the time uh filipinos work on a day basis unless you are working for uh, call centers bpo or you're working for security so there's uh, another discussion when it comes to night differential, okay? But for night shift, if you render overtime, it's going to be 110% of your hourly rate, okay? So, examples, let's say worker A's rate is 150 per hour, just like what we had earlier. So, 150 per hour, and then you rendered one hour overtime, so, 150 times 125% or 1.25 is equals to 187.5. So, dun sa isang oras na render mo, you get 187.5. What if uh, you work or worker A works on a rest day and then 8 hours yung render niya? It's his 6th day in a week. So, it's going to be <clears throat> 150 times... 130% or 1.30 and then so your hourly rate is going to be 195 pesos now you multiply 195 by 8 hours because sabi dito sa example you work for 8 hours so for that day you earned 1560 pesos okay so um for our assignment let's have the following you know let's have these three um, questions so you can answer them um, directly and then if you have questions you can just send me an email or send me a message over the channels that I have for assistance okay so that wraps up our discussion for today uh, thank you so much for watching uh, please follow me on all the social media platforms I'm in, such as YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And um, as always, thank you so much, and to God be all the glory. Till our next episode.